That is a great way to put it. The, the dream is to get it on stream someday somehow, but I don't know how that's going to work, but we'll we'll cross that bridge <laughs> when we get there. Yep, so but Dandy J looks like he's going with uh, Kagemaru as, as normal regular. Ooh, Warp Whistle going with the VF1. I would say I, I love the classic <laughs> outfit. That looks very nice. Right. This is a very explosive game for people not in the know for Virtual Fighter. Most rounds are average about 20 to 25 seconds maximum. Um, for the most part. Definitely right a very, now. very, very quick game. Yes, this is 20 seconds already down on the clock. Round is already almost over. That's 25 seconds right here. So for the uninitiated, in initiated, give me a little lowdown on both of these characters. So uh, Kage, Kage? Kage Maru, uh, he's a ninja. He was, uh, uh, practices ninjutsu. And the uh, he uh, is very good, very strong striker, but he also has what's called a 10-foot toss, which is an extremely powerful forward throw. Throws him literally 10 feet up into the air, and then he can follow up with a really huge uh, combo. So Very uh, good launcher, combo starter. Yes, absolutely. And uh, what he does, he also has, he could also go into stances. So when he goes into his stances, uh, it's generally through when he's going through his offensive chains and that'll allow him to continue pressure because it gives him very good frame advantage. Um, whereas Warp Whistle, who's playing Lao, uh, Lao is dying in the storyline for Virtual Fighter. And <laughs> he is dying. Yes, he is dying. He is very old now. Well, he's dying for real <laughs> as Danny J takes another round. All right. So uh, Lao has More a very accurate. fast. Lao has a very fast guard break, and he has very good strings, very strong strings. I've been um, taking notice of that, where yes. where Kage is blocking these attacks, where it's just leaving him in that reeling state. Right. Yep. And then you see there, uh, Dandy J is doing really good pickup on those combos. Combos in this game are very fast, five to six hits, uh, usually speaking, but does over 30% of your health. 40% is not un unusual. It looks like Dandy J takes the first game. So, let's see if, uh, oh, are we going, oh, okay, we're choosing a different stage. So, stages also in Virtual Fighter definitely matter. There's uh, several different types. There's, if they're open walled, um, you could get rung out even by blocking an attack because you get pushed back. Lots of pushback, okay. Yes, so, uh, but even though that sounds absolutely horrible, you have, sidesteps are extremely, uh, was uh, reliable. They seem very, very quick in this game as yes. opposed to your traditional tech. And very nice duck yes. there. Yeah, very good tech crouch. Oh, another one. Yeah, Dandy J doing pretty well on defense, just holding on. But we just got to watch it. Oh, is that a low crush there? <laughs> he did do a low crush. Yes. Nice. So, yep. Oh, here's the ten foot toss. You're kidding me, Jeez. <laughs> Laura. Yeah. Very apt name on that. <laughs> and that's a very unsafe move there with that uh, warp whistle uh, leading through his string down to the uh, sweep. So, but Danny J did not capitalize it, and then warp whistle was able to continue on the pressure. Very strong rapid fire strikes from yes. Lau. Yeah. I can I can start seeing the stances that you were talking about with Kage. Right. Here's the 10 foot toss again. Oh, nice. this is good. might be big damage because of the wall. Oh, he doesn't know the doesn't remember the conversions yet. So I believe the conversions changed slightly from Virtual Fighter 4 to Virtual Fighter 5. Dandy J was a big Virtual Fighter 4 player. So nice. Yeah, Dandy J ekes out that round. So Warp Whistle showing very good strong showing against uh, Dandy J so far. All right. Oh. Yeah, so... The stage seems very, very small. It is. Very tight quarters This for that. one, yes, it says it's full walls. Uh, it's only 10 foot by 10 foot wide. So, because... That's the length of his throw. <laughs> yes, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, if you get a 10 foot toss in a uh, walled stage like this, you are getting taken to the wall. And, which uh, makes sense. And the wall combos in this game could net you over 60, 70% health um, if you know the proper routes. And uh, the reason they do that is because if you could get rung out by a single hit, and uh, the open stages, which are larger, hmm. then it should be also pretty much death if you get knocked into the wall in the walled stages. Yes. So, again, assuming that you know uh, your routes. Ooh. There we Dandy go. Dandy J was being a little tricky on his offense there. Very so, well done. Oh, no. Is it 
first, so it's first to three. We always do first to three uh, here for Virtual Fighter just because the game is so fast. Definitely can so, see that. Yeah, it used to be the, or there's a lot of places that do first to two, but you look at, if you look back at G EVO Japan 2023 for Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown, uh, the top eight was super fast because it was first to two until the uh, finals. Oh, and, wow. And yeah, and those games just was blazing fast. So is this a ring out stage that we're seeing this here? This is a ring out stage full. This is sumo ring uh, for Taka, so who is the largest character of the game. He's so heavy that most attacks won't launch him. So I think I've seen clips of that where like characters struggle to throw him. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good. So another thing about Virtual Fighter that most people are not used to is that Virtual Fighter in this game uh, throws, lose to attacks outright. Yes. So and what JDJ did there at the very end of the match, uh, or, or end of the last round, I should say, is he called out the throw attempt by Warp Whistle and opened up with a huge attack. And that's what allowed oh, him. See, and, there we go. Yep. And got the ring out by Warp Whistle. Keeping up the attack. It feels so anticlimactic just seeing from like the the Soul Caliber, like the character falling <laughs> off the stage in a dramatic yell. Yes. And these ones are just like, oh, I fell. Oh, yeah, they, they look, they're like, oh, really? oh man. <laughs> oh, that's a three foot drop, damn. Yep. <laughs> so, but I mean, that is kind of in the spirit of, I guess, a martial arts term. Yeah. No. So. Apropos. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Dandy J showing off a little bit of a step technique there. Warpistol just calling it out with the strings. Oh, oh, that was unsafe there, but uh, definitely looked that way. Yeah. Oh, good launcher. So, wait, well, I barely even get to talk about Virtual Fighter, and we're already on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, 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 it's a rising so attack close. from that. Yeah. <laughs> so very well done. Is, yeah, everybody has a rising attack from uh, from Wake Up, which is invincible on startup. Oh. But uh, you can crush the attack with a uh, with a move that does at least 21 damage or more. Oh. So everybody usually has the standard move, uh, which is which is referred to as the sidekick.